So if you could send a friend help right now, someone to be with them, someone to support them or comfort them, what help would you send? What would that be like? What help could you use right now? That's what we're going to talk about today on Now What Devotions from Trinity Lutheran and Cyrus. So in our text from today, uh, Jesus is talking to his disciples, and uh, we're in John uh, chapter 14 still, but now we're in verses 15 through 21. And Jesus is telling his disciples, guys, I'm going to have to leave. I'm not going to be here. And at the same point, it seems like Jesus is also recognizing and pointing out the fact that at some point, folks are going to have to trust and follow and believe in him without ever having seen him or met him. And so he says, you know what? I'm going to send some help. I'm going to send a friend. And that friend, of course, is the Holy Spirit, the advocate. In the same way that Jesus shows us who God is, the friend, the advocate, the spirit shows us who Jesus is. And without that help, how would we ever have any idea who Jesus is? Now, you've probably heard the Spirit described in a lot of ways over the years. And we have kind of a hard time in the church, to be honest, giving a real clear explanation. And that's not because there aren't clear explanations. I would imagine it's because the way the Spirit shows up is quite personal uh, for each individual. We all have different stories and ways of being aware of what God is up to. And, and some are consistent. You know, one example you'll always hear is the example of the wind. Uh, the spirit blows or the spirit will. And, and actually the word in Greek for spirit is pneuma, uh, which means wind, air, breath. And in Hebrew, it's ruach, which also means breath, spirit. So there's something about uh, the spirit related to those ideas, but hard to describe. Uh, some folks will describe uh, inspiration uh, or a feeling of peace or calm. Other people will describe an idea that just seemed to come from above. Sometimes the spirit will show up with coincidence or humor. Other times it'll show up uh, with a clear sense that what just happened was really special, really important. Sometimes the spirit will show up and uh, it'll be dramatic. Um, they'll be speaking in tongues and, and healings and all kinds of things. And I've seen those things happen too, although be it, I would say they're, they're a bit more rare. Um, but when the spirit shows up, what happens is we learn something about Jesus. Jesus tells his friends, the disciples, he says, guys, I'm not gonna leave you orphans. Even though I have to leave, I'm not gonna leave you alone. One thing I hear from all of you, I heard from one of you today even, was the deep loneliness that can come during this time. Not seeing the people you love, not doing the things you're used to doing, just not feeling at ease or at peace, feeling alone. So that's my thought for you today. What help would you send if you had a friend who was in need and was going to be alone and you didn't want them to be alone? What help would you send? What would it be like? Would it comfort them? Give them energy? Sometimes it might prod them. The same things that you sense your friends needing may well be the same things that Jesus sends to us through the good spirit, the Holy Spirit, which blows where it wants to like the wind on a breezy day. Christ, peace to you now. We'll have another devotion for you here on Thursday. Until then, keep fighting the good fight. Keep loving your neighbor. And we'll see you next time for Now What Devotions at Trinity Lutheran and Cyrus. I'm Pastor Chris signing off. Bye-bye.